Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So as you can tell by the title and my appearance, we're going to be doing a little get ready with me today. Um, I'm going out for some food with my friend. We're the kind of girls that like to, we like to get dressed when we go out for food because I feel like I don't really go out anywhere. <laughs> like this is my night out basically. I've already done my hair because I knew it was going to take forever and I'm actually really, really impressed with it. It does keep going a little bit flat. I have to keep like pulling it up. But I could not tell you how I did it. I literally just ponytail, bun, pulled bits out, curled them, and we got to this part. Um, I do need to like spray it a little bit with like in like my baby hairs right at the back are a bit annoying. But overall, I'm literally obsessed. And if you also couldn't tell, new camera, I got it. I had to do it, I literally had to. I looked at the beginning of the week out of curiosity and it went on sale. Sorry, is that not a sign from the universe to just buy it? So I ended up getting it and picking it up this morning and I've just, I'm just so obsessed. I've got a little viewfinder. Tells us that I'm recording, like blurry in the background. Well, I think it's blurry in the background. I don't really know. Um, I'm still trying to like play around with it a little bit, but I feel like this video is going to be so much better. But anyways, I feel like I should just crack on. I'm not a makeup artist. I loved makeup when I was younger. I literally was obsessed. Um, So I kind of do know what I'm doing a little bit, but I feel like this isn't a makeup channel. So I'm just going to do my makeup and talk. Bonnie looks lush. I feel like I should explain to you why I'm going out. I mean, not like I need a reason to go out, but it's day 75 of my 75 day soft challenge, which I literally can't believe. So anyone else that started this on January 1st will all be in the same boat. Like it's actually unreal. It's like come around so quick. So me and my friend Erin have decided that we're going to go out for some food, like get dressed up and like celebrate it. So that's what we're doing tonight, which I'm really excited for. We're going to a place in Ponteeland, if anyone's from the Newcastle, Northumberland. I don't even know where Ponteeland is. Is it Northumberland? I think it is. Um, we're going to a tiche, which I think is like a Turkish place. But we'll literally end up getting just chicken and chips. <laughs> Put my foundation on. Now, <laughs> I literally have no foundations. This was the one I've got for... Oh, look at that, man. Sorry. Is that not just so professional? Um, it's the AX1 foundation. I got this in 2020, so no wonder I'm like spotty. I'll put this on because I have tanned last night. So I feel like it'll be the right colour. Really happy with this camera as well because I remember when I used to do tutorials on my last camera, it would literally make us look so orange. I mean, that foundation is, that foundation is pretty orangey, but I remember... <laughs> like filming videos in my full face I was like oh it was bad oh I went and seen um Neil on Monday with Amber one of my friends so good I mean he's such a good singer like vocal wise unreal but I didn't realize how old he was I feel like uh I knew he was older because obviously where his music come out but I didn't realize he was like a grand on stage had flared pants on love Neil though really good night like literally one of the best concerts I've been to in so long but that's not really saying much because the last person I went and seen in concert was Dizzy Rascal with the Bad Boy Chiller crew. Um, I'm sure that was the last. Oh, and I've been to see the Vamps as well. I'm going to use this contour stick. I don't really use this very often because it's nearly out. But it's the um, Primark one in caramel. No, it's in chai, this one. But I love the caramel one. But I feel like they haven't been doing them anymore. Every time I go to Primark, they're not there. So other than tonight, I've got zero plans this weekend. Literally just, I'm going to go for a run tomorrow, right? Because I've been saying for so long that I want to start running and I just keep giving up. Like, I just keep being like, oh, I think it's the cold weather. Like, I genuinely do think it is that. Like, in the dark nights and the, oh, it's just, it's excuses. That is literally a big fat excuse. But I really, really want to start. And I feel like it's Saturday tomorrow. I've got no other place to be. So I might as well just do it. I've just realised I was supposed to do my eyes first. Okay. Right. Okay, we're going to do my eyes now and then blend it together. I've been doing a little throwback and I've been using tape from the eyeshadow when I've been doing like a bit of a wing. Just feel like it looks a bit more clean, doesn't it? Going to make sure that they kind of look like they're the same. Um, Right, I'm going to go in with the bronzer I'm using, which is also from Primark. And I'm just going to do like a little bit of a base colour. I tinted my eyebrows before. And every time I tint them, I'm like, why do I not do this more often? Because I do them and I think I look so much more put together and nice. And then like weeks will go by and I forget to do them again. I zoomed you in so you can see 
what I'm doing. I'm going to use a darker brown out of this palette, this LA Splash palette. I'm going to use one of the um, dark brown colours and just put that in the outer corner. I'm just using eyeshadow as well, just on this little angled brush. Alright, that's what we've got. It looks so much better in person. Don't know why the camera's going back. Use like a nudie colour and just pack that on the the centre because I love doing this with my eyes because it like it like opens me full eye. It just looks so much nicer. Put that on and then I blend it in with the brush that I was using before. I'm talking like this is a tutorial. I've got nothing else to talk about. Um, but what I will say is thank you so much for all of the lovely comments. I was just like blown away. I, every day I was just like checking. I was just like, I woke up then because I go to bed at like nine o'clock. So by the time people were like, well, actually watching it on a Sunday night, I was already asleep. So the next morning I had so many nice messages. And like Reese, my boyfriend, he um he goes to the gym really, really early on a weekday, much earlier than me. And um, he'd messaged us being like, 200 views, 33 subscribers. And I was like, Reese, stop it. He's just like my number one fan. Um, so yeah, like just so nice. Like some people that were just like strangers, um, like replying to me story saying, Go you, love it. I think that's the eyes done. So I'll take the little tapes off. Obviously, it's gonna take my foundation off. Love it. I go in with me liquid blush. This is a made by Mitchell one in cherry cola. So it's like this like mo movie, movie. I always go a little bit crazy and then I'll just like put more concealer over it so it's all good and I use a little brush. Has anyone been watching anything good on the TV because I literally cannot find a thing. I know that new Lindsay Lohan one comes out. I'm sure it's this weekend because I'm sure it's St. Patrick's Day on Sunday so I'm sure that come out the day. Not like it's anything to do with St. Patrick's Day but I'm sure it's set in Ireland. Don't think that's why it's been released today but I'm pretty sure that that's just come out. So maybe I'll watch that tonight when I get home. Um, but other than that, nothing. I thought that gentleman was going to be really, really good. I'm not really that enjoying it. I mean, I enjoy him because he is absolutely stunning. But other than that, it's just a bit cringe for me. I love, like, actual, like, dramas and stuff. Like, mysteries and, like, drugs, crime. Like, I love anything like that in series. But this is just, like, it's like a joke, isn't it, really, to them? Like, it's not even... It's like it's supposed to be like a comedy. Just putting a bit of concealer on. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear one. It's quite light, but I do like that bright under eye. So earlier when I was on about the 75 challenge, um, I thought I'd, I'd tell you my results because I used to do like weekly catch-ups on TikTok and like talk about how I've done, like my weigh-ins and what have you. And then I kind of just like stopped doing them and I don't know why. I feel like I just, I don't know, I just... Oh, can't even explain why the stop but anyways I did um my last weigh in a day and I lost a pound this week it's really weird because at the start of it all I wasn't losing at all and I was counting and I was like doing the exercise I was doing everything and like losing nothing if not gaining weight and then I haven't really like been as strict with myself the past few weeks as in I haven't been counting I haven't been like totally like restrictive in myself there's been days where I haven't done anything gym wise nothing and I've been losing the most now so it's just like it must just take a while for it all to start um but yeah so in total that's 12 pounds yeah 12 pounds since January I was really hoping to get me stoned by like by the end of the 75 but it's fine I was saying to my mum as well I was at Reese I was saying to somebody that I've literally done it in moderation like I haven't um like done a quick fix i'm not trying to like lose a stone in three weeks like i've just gradually lost it and it's staying off do you know what i mean like it's not like where i'm like quickly trying to lose it and then just gain it all in one weekend um i'm doing well i also don't drink anymore don't know if that's something people know but i used to be quite a big big drink when i was younger i used to love going out and then now i'm just like the total opposite i love staying in I love taking the car. <laughs> Some people might call it boring, but I just feel like there's so much more to life than going out and spending hundreds on alcohol, personally. But that is no beef to nobody else. You do you, if you enjoy doing that. There might be a time where I enjoy doing that. Like, I'm not going to say I'm never going to drink again, because I probably will. 
but I just think at the minute I'm just enjoying not doing that. I've been on like a few nights where I haven't drank but I've been invited to a hen party. It's my sister-in-law's. Is that right? Yeah. Um, a hen party and I was just booking a bottomless brunch and I was sitting with Reese and I was like oh my god like I'm gonna have to like say what to do a sober one like to do an alcohol free one but then I was like get a grip like you can have a drink it's not like I'm an alcoholic I just I just don't enjoy drinking sometimes but then who's to say that I won't enjoy it that day do you know what I mean so I just need to be open-minded it's not until early June but I'm sure I'll have a drink because I was looking at the list and the cocktails look nice so I was just like might be nice I'll probably end up having one and just having to go home though because I've not drank for so long. Time to bake. Go in with a face powder, but you should actually see the state of it. It has totally smashed up. I just use this very delicately and try not to get the big chunks of it because then it falls off my face and into my carpet. This carpet's absolutely manky from makeup. I was really embarrassed though, right, because... I, um, I need to tell you this story actually because my mum was laughing about it and she says I need to tell you it. I was like right I'm going to walk and pick this camera up because the place I was going to is like 20 minute walk from mine. So I thought right be productive walk there. So I get my bag and I thought am I safe walking home with this camera? I think I am I'm fine. So anyways I goes to go out my street and my street is literally getting dug up at the minute. So they had like a big um like tractor in the middle of the road and like they were tarmacking and I thought I can't be like excuse me can I get past I thought this is ridiculous so I just thought right it's a sign from the universe to take your car so anyways takes my car gets there and there's this man stood and he goes there's a car behind you and I was walking along the road I went all right because they're like there's a car in the car park and then he went do you like biscuits and I went eee no and he went jaffa cake biscuit he went do you want one I went no I'm all right and I just started like laughing I thought this is uncomfortable kept walking I thought what do you want me to do like wasn't even a multi-pack now that was like just like individuals I thought I'm not taking a lot of cake and then goes into curries and I'm stood waiting for my parcel to come down because I'd like click and collected and the man walks from the top of curries with his hand behind his back like that all the way from the TVs all the way down the front desk and he goes if you can guess what's behind my back you can have it now I'm a camera and he went there you go. What's more embarrassing is the camera literally said on the front of it, perfect for vlogging. Or did it say perfect for vlogging? I'm going to have to show you it. <gasps> Made for vlogging. Is that not the most embarrassing thing ever? Him walking down the full of curries with that. Embarrassing. But thankfully when I went back to the car, that man with the Jaffa cakes wasn't there. Thank God. I rang me so I was like, can you speak for two minutes? Because he was at work. I mean, I don't think he was a threat to us, this man, but I thought I don't want him to speak to us. Um... And he was like, oh, no, I can't speak. And I was like, "Can because when a woman says, can I speak to you for two minutes? Or will you just stay on the phone for two minutes? That means I'm in danger. Uh, and he was like, not really. So, yeah. And then I just put the phone down on him, because obviously he put the phone down on him. And then he texted us saying something like, are you all right? This was like 10 minutes later. And I went, could have been dead, literally. I put a bit of blush on on top. Right. And he used like a brown pencil to um, line it. How much of a difference does that actually make? It looks so good. I don't know if I'm gonna do any under eye shadow. I feel like I might just do it with the liner and just leave it at that. So I'll do that. And then I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and put some mascara on because that's literally the most boring thing to watch. And I'll be like this the whole time. We just see as once I've done that because it's not very entertaining to watch. Back and I love the way them look. Then your eye. Like, who needs eyelashes when you've got a good mascara? I used this Maybelline one, Colossal Curl Bounce. Absolutely awful outside. Like, I can hear the wind, I can hear the rain, and I'm not looking forward to that because I'm sure this place doesn't have a, um, a car park. Because when I looked on the Instagram, it was like, places you can park nearby. So we're going to be walking through this, which isn't the vibe. I'm going to use Max Spice. never ever used this lipstick in my life and by god as if for my 18th birthday i'm now turning 23. probably shouldn't be put this on my lips but it's a Louboutin lipstick when everyone was obsessed i don't even know what color this is going to be like but my dress is kind of like purpley and like dark so i feel like this will be nice not really giving purpley dark is it 
Mm. I don't know if that's the vibe. I've got another one. Whirl, which is like a, another nudie colour, but this on its own is a bit gothic. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? It still looks a little bit dark like. And then to kind of make it go a little bit nicer, a little bit more pink, I'm going to use this from Soap and Glory. It's like a plumping lip gloss. Do I like that? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And last but not least, I'm going to use a bit of setting spray. This is this one, which is a, a cheaper version um, of a setting spray. So this is a vitamin E from Superdrug. It's like a mist spray. More makeup on the side, but this looks pretty nice. Just worry that when I do videos, it's not going to come out as nice because when you're on camera, it's obviously a lot of pressure. But today, it's come out pretty well. I'm going to put my outfit on, shoes and everything, bag, jewellery, and then, yeah, that'll be the, the video done. Oh, I look naked. Got a top on. This is the finish. <laughs> I'm looking at myself there. I should have got no clothes on. I have to stand up. So, this is the finished look. Really hard to show you this without being about five miles away. I'll show you this in the mirror. I feel like it's so flattering. Everyone that knows me knows I love a maxi dress. I'll link this below because I'm sure this was only definitely less than £15. I swear I paid a tenner for this, if not less, but I will try and find it and link it. The heels are from ASOS. They're like the little lace-up ones. I was gonna wear it like this with me leather jacket, like over, over my shoulders. I feel like that looks quite cool. And just like that, we are ready to go out. I mean, I'm definitely very early. It's only half four. I've got an hour and a half till I'm supposed to be leaving, but it's fine. I'm going to get some photos and stuff and just chill out. It's better to be early. I'm going to be doing a vlog next week. I'm going to do like a little um spend the day with us because I'm doing something fun on Monday. I'm going to do a little spring, spring clean shopping. Hopefully I'll have the confidence to take this camera out of the house and actually do a vlog. A bit of hair can do one. I literally always, oh, always falls on my head. I'm going to have to put a bit more bronzer on so I just... Malakti. please like subscribe comment down below follow me on instagram tiktok all that stuff and yeah i'll see you in next week's video